Hi guys, come with us to explore Baoshi. We took a flight from Lagos to Jos and it was approximately two hours. We got to Jos and we got a cab to take us to Baoshi. This cost about 35,000 naira. We got to the town and had to ask for directions. It was a very odd and long trip which took about five hours. Finally made it to Yankari. We paid 2k gate fee and we proceeded to get an accommodation. At the reception, we saw bush pigs roaming freely. We were so exhausted and really needed to rest. Then the most scary night happened. There was no light. The heat was way too much. I had to shower about eight times. Jesus is Lord! I had to stay in the heat without light whatever till morning. Run, Hi guys, we are currently at the museum at Yankari Game Reserve. So let's check in some ancient artifacts here at the museum. Alright, so um, guys, this is our tour guide that is going to take us through the museum. Now, I say you are welcome to Yankari Game Reserve. This is our natural historical museum here. So, my name is Suleiman Babaji Adamu. I'm a museum curator. So, Yankari Game Reserve was established in 1956, then opened to the public in 1962. Now, the total area landmass of the reserve is about 2,244.10 square kilometers. So in this reserve, we have 52 species of wild animals while they're living on their own natural habitat. You can see the footprints. Look at the soul of an elephant in this reserve. How old are these elephants? Um, uh, like this one. It's a young one. In 2014, we come and bring this one. That one is an old one. We, pick, we come and put it in the museum in 2004. These animals that you just mentioned, the lion, the fox, the cheetah, can you still find them at the park currently? Yes, but you know that uh, the animals they are living on their own natural habitat. Yes. So now those animals they should live in the in the reserve, but the road is not in good conditions. If you go into the safari, you can see some, but it's not necessary to see it at once. Okay. This is an artifact museum. It's an archaeological system of the ancient peoples. The ancient people built this with the idea of making a minimal iron ore. They had the idea of building it just like you build an ant hill, and they would get red clays, mix it up with charcoal, and making holes underneath. The holes are used to put wood for fire, and from doing this mechanism and getting other materials, they would make their knives, make their holes, and make other metals that they would use in farming and also protecting themselves. So in this reserve, we have five natural spring water. We have wiki warm spring water. The wiki warm spring water is the water flushing from the red sandstone, sedimentary rock. Who is the deeper? As from here, it's so deep. The deeper is five meters only. We have guana, warm spring water. Guana, warm spring water. The guana is a spring water flushing from the ground, which warmer is almost about 32 degrees centigrade. The milk, warm spring water. The milk is another spring water flushing from the red sandstone sedimentary rock. So the spar jara of this water is red. It's warmer than any spring water. 
is almost about 35 degrees centigrade. Then after Guana Dimil, we have Maulgo warm spring water. The Maulgo is another spring water flushing from the ground, which Oma is almost about uh, 32 degrees centigrade. We have the last one is Tunga Maliki. Tunga Maliki. Yes. Tunga Maliki. Tunga Maliki is a cool one, spring water. It's a cool. What the temperature is almost about 28 uh, degrees centigrade only. <laughs> Um, Wiki Warm Springs, it's approximately around 31 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. I'm going to take a dive into the water now, so come on, let's go! So, um, it's annoying, yeah, um, we had a setback, so we're filming and the videographer flew the drone up and unfortunately it was attacked by a bird. So the drone had to crash and then all our filming had to like stop. So presently we are stuck without the drone. So hopefully we get a fix for the drone or we get another drone to fly. Hi guys, um, we are back at the Wiki Warm Spring after the incident of our drone crashing yesterday. So we got an alternative drone which is not as good as ours but then we have no choice. Hopefully today goes as planned and better than yesterday. Welcome to Wiki Warm Springs. One of the five springs located in Yankari Game Reserve in Bauchi, Nigeria. It's a crystal clear water that flows out from a sedimentary rock with a temperature of about 31 degrees Celsius and it's about six to seven feet deep at the source. The spring is believed to have healing properties due to its high mineral content, especially sulfur. The springs are surrounded by lush green forests, further enhances the serene and captivating ambience of the environment. currently going on safari to see some animals and some ancient places. So come with us as we tour this reserve. On our way movie, you should help us and watch left and right. If anybody's seen an animal, tell us to stop. The cat spot in the middle of the forest where wild animals can come at any time. This might be the last video I'm making. I, well, not me. <laughs> oh, please. Help! This is, this is a small monitor lizard. Um, the cat is moving now. That's it. And I saw a monitor lizard just now. Guys, I'm going to bite my ass. So, guys, we are currently going to the riverside 
And one thing um, peculiar about this river is that during this dry season, it is where all the animals converge. So hopefully, we get to see animals around the river. This is one of the animals we spotted in the safari called a water bird. Here we have a female. And when you see a male, they have horns shaped like Y, which is where the Yankari logo comes from. And this is because this species of mammal is quite dominant in Yankari. They normally move in group with the male in the middle because they are polygamous in nature. One male can control 15 to 20 females. This is the river called River Geji. The river is on the middle of the reserve and it is not a seasonal river. All year round this river is flowing. So inside this river there are some species of fishes. There are crocodile and hippopotamus. So during rainy season this river used to be overflow up to this place. After such an unsuccessful attempt, trying to spot animals at the Yankari Safari, we heard of a nearby reserve called Sumo with animals bought from Namibia and we decided to head down there even knowing it was a bumpy ride. We got there and when we got into the safari, we were welcomed by a giraffe. We even got on a bike to make things faster and help us spot animals as it got darker really fast. Little did we know we were going to get stranded. Stuck with a guy that does not understand English. So there's a language barrier. So he's trying to tell us something I don't understand. So we're waiting for our interpreter to be here. So hopefully when he gets here, he gets to continue. After another failed attempt at trying to spot animals, we only were left with the conclusion of what happened to the animals. If you have answers to this question, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. But for now, we're going to say bye and see you in the next YouTube video we have for you from Bauchi. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thank you.